The exists transformation in Azure Data Factory's mapping data flows acts very much like a select statement in SQL with an exists clause. With exists in SQL, you have a select statement with a query and then a subquery that's looking for matching values. Same exact thing happens in exists with data flows. Let me show you an example. Here I have two different sources. I have a staging table and a new products table. When I put an exists on my canvas, I can say the left side, which is attached to whatever transformation I added the exist to. In this case, I added it to my derived column. You click plus and then you'll see exists here under inputs and outputs. And exists takes multiple inputs, the left side and then you choose the right side. So the different sources I have here on my canvas, let me just add one additional one here. I'm just going to call this dummy source without even connecting to any data set at this time. Just to show you that when you're in the exists, you'll have the option of picking those different sources for your right side. So this can be my subquery. So in this case, I'm going to match on checksum and DW hash from the stage source, which is up here. So anytime that the rows uh, from these matching columns are equal in checksum and DW hash, those columns on either side, then the rows will flow through. Anything that does not match is dropped at this point. You can also negate this and say it doesn't exist. Now if you need to have a little bit more of an advanced expression uh, than what you have on the UI here with the, um, with the equals and when you add more conditions, these are all added together, let's say you wanted to have more. So what you could do is you could use a custom expression instead. So in this case I could say something a little more complex like this. For example, I could say when DW hash is equal to checksum and put that in parentheses and then have an and condition on here. And I could say and the color is not equal to uh, the color from the other side of my relationship. Or let's say, let's go with name. Uh, the stage name is not equal to the new prod's name. So now I have and equal and I have non equal joins in there as well. Uh, as I compare the conditions against the two sides for exists. Now whatever in this case does not match that condition will flow through to the rest of my transformation or the uh, next transformation of my data flow I should say. So that's how exists works. Exists will take different streams. So if you're looking to filter out data from one single stream right here, this is a stream, this is another stream, you can just use a filter. I'm going to talk about filter in another video, but I would add that here. But filter does not allow you to take another stream. So if you want to compare by using a subquery, that's when you use exists.